The Global Learning and Observations to Benefit the Environment program, known to most of us as GLOBE, has been providing hands-on real data collection experiences for students for nearly 20 years. GLOBE brings students, teachers, and scientists together to study our Earth through observations and measurements. More than 100 countries and over 24,000 schools have participated in GLOBE projects taking over 90 million measurements. You and your students can earn a spot on this map by participating in one of the latest NASA projects to pair with GLOBE. The SMAP satellite mission is partnering with GLOBE to bring yet another great STEM learning experience to students. So what is the SMAP mission? NASA has a mission that is going to be launching called SMAP. SMAP is the Soil Moisture Active Passive Mission and it will be measuring soil moisture from space. Because when we measure soil from space, we can cover a lot of area in a short amount of time. We will have a global map of soil moisture every three days. SMAP has two sensors. They're both in the microwave range. It allows us to see through clouds. So regardless of day or night conditions or any kind of weather conditions, we can still see the surface of the Earth. SMAP is an active-passive mission. The active, or the radar, is going to give you high resolution. So it's going to give you a lot of detail within a three kilometer resolution. And then the passive, which is the radiometer, is going to give you high accuracy. And that is going to give it to you within a 40 kilometer resolution. From a satellite to ground perspective, SMAP will gather data about soil moisture across our entire globe. But what exactly is soil moisture? Soil moisture is the amount of water that's in the soils. So think of soils as a sponge. So sponges can hold water up to a certain point, then they saturate. So soils are sort of similar. They can hold a certain amount of water. What we want to do with SMAP is understand how uh, water availability is uh, changing around the globe. The total amount of water isn't changing on the Earth, but its availability in, in regions may change. Certainly it improves uh, our ability to predict uh, floods and droughts. It also has a more immediate effect and benefit for things like weather forecasting. The soil moisture uh, data in weather models greatly improves the, the accuracy of our, our weather forecast. Having useful soil moisture information will, should be able to improve our ability to say something about agricultural productivity and food security. While SMAP maps Earth's soil moisture from space, your students can play an important role in mapping soil moisture in your community collecting ground truth measurements. This work will help scientists validate the satellite soil moisture measurements and monitor the accuracy of SMAP's instruments. And you can become a SMAP Globe partner now. The SMAP Globe website has everything you need to get started. Simply visit www.globe.gov and click on Connect Students to Globe Partner Satellite Missions. Then click on Soil Moisture Active Passive Mission and you'll find everything you will need for you and your students to participate. Gathering local soil moisture measurements is really very easy and these in situ measurements are important to the SMAP scientist. Scientists need students to collect these data several times each week over extended periods of time throughout the mission. Ground data will help the scientists validate SMAP's measurements, making them more and more accurate. Accurate soil moisture information leads to more accurate weather, climate, and flood models. There's so much more we could tell you, but there's just not enough time to do it. Check out these great resources, including three NASA Eclipse videos all about the SMAP mission. Just visit smap.jpl.nasa.gov for more info. Working together, students and SMAP scientists will gain a greater understanding of Earth's soil moisture patterns, and this knowledge plays an important role in our day-to-day -day lives.